Today's video is proudly brought to you by Cosplay Alliance. Without Cosplay Alliance, the Geeks and Company just wouldn't be possible. Make sure to go follow the Cosplay Alliance on Instagram at cosplay.alliance, as well as on YouTube, linked below. Again, thanks to Cosplay Alliance for powering the Geeks and Company. Now, back to the video. The following is an official Geeks and Company presentation. Welcome back to the Geeks and Company, everybody. My name is JS, and today, well, today I want to go back to Star Trek Picard and the new trailer that actually has come out for Star Trek Day. Now, there's a couple of things that I've picked out in this trailer that, you know, I really want to share with you because I think there's a little bit to unpack here. Now, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. You know, as a new channel trying to get off the ground, it really, really helps us out when you like and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free, but it helps us out. So please make sure you go do that when you get a chance. Now, I did a video last week on uh, Picard uh, with the new trailer that had come out, I want to say two weeks ago now. We also did a Star Trek Day podcast. Last week was Star Trek Day. And uh, we were celebrating the 55th anniversary of Star Trek. So, you know, the podcast had to do a Star Trek special. Uh, during the uh, podcast, we actually watched the brand new uh, Picard Season 2 trailer that came out that day. Uh, so, you know, so you could get our reaction, uh, you know, right uh, uh, in there within the podcast. Unfortunately, uh, CBS shut us down. Uh, they apparently don't want you to see the trailer. Well, at least they don't want you to see the trailer anywhere else than on there. YouTube channel. We're on the Paramount Plus YouTube channel. So I had to actually cut that out of the podcast. Um, but I have watched the trailer multiple times now, and I do have a number of things that I want to actually share with everyone. First off, it looks like my theory that I made last week on what season two of Picard was going to be. Well, that was completely out to lunch. Um, it does, in fact, look like Q is the one that's going to break the timeline. Uh, it also doesn't appear like the wormhole aliens will be even remotely responsible for Picard going back in the past. Uh, I feel like that was probably just a misdirect in the teaser trailer, uh, like they're doing in this trailer as well. And I'm going to show you this in a second. Um, but yeah, my hypothesis, my theory was out to lunch. But hey, you know, this is the fun of being a Trekkie is theorizing and, you know, trying to figure out what's going on and what's coming up. Now, the trailer. When Q comes into the trailer and says that the trial never ends, and then Picard replies back with, you know, him being too old for Q's shenanigans, Q snapping his fingers. And then the camera switches to a building exploding and crumbling. I'm going to put a picture right here. There's something odd about this picture, and I didn't catch it at first. And, and it wasn't until later on in the trailer that I realized something was wrong here. Now, if you look at this picture of this building exploding, you can see shuttles flying around. Problem is, we find out later in the trailer that the crew actually goes back to the 21st century. The crew goes back to our time to fix whatever Q changed. Well, if there are shuttles flying around, if what Q changed was blowing up that building and there's sh shuttles flying around, why are they going back to the 21st century? Why do they need to come back to our time to fix what Q changed? changed they don't obviously the changes that you made are here now not in this image that you're seeing here this is mis misdirection uh, this has nothing to do with q as far as i can tell then they finally introduce us to the new board queen now remember this is a new timeline right that's created by q uh in the trailer by the time they get to the board queen um things have already changed Seven no longer has her implants. They're all wearing Starfleet uniforms or Starfleet com badges. Uh, Picard has this sash that we're going to talk about in a second. So this is a new timeline. Um, and, and although you could tell when Seven in the trailer sees the Borg Queen and she backs up, she clearly remembers the Borg Queen. She clearly remembers being assimilated. But it doesn't look like she was ever actually assimilated. Like I said, she doesn't have any implants. It also makes it seem like it's Picard and his crew that bring the Borg Queen out of whatever stasis that she's in so that she'll help them go back in time 
you know, kind of like she did in First Contact. She went back in time in First Contact. I'm assuming in Picard's mind, he knows, well, if the Borg Queen can go back in time, let's go and find her. Let's bring her out of stasis, and maybe she can help us out. Again, remember, this is a different Borg Queen, different timeline. You have to forget what happened in First Contact at the end and the Borg Queen actually dying. You know, the Borg are known to uh, be flesh and mechanical. So they can't live without the flesh. Um, at the end of First Contact, all that's left is the mechanical parts of the Borg Queen. This is a completely different timeline. So who knows who this Borg Queen is, how she got into Starfleet's uh, uh, captivity and in stasis. Now, here's the real kicker here. And I'm going to show you this image right here. Now, what if? Now, this is a big what if. But what if Q, or whatever Q did, was responsible for creating what we know as the Mirror Universe? Now, look at the logo behind the card. Now, this is not the Mirror Universe logo that we know. Well, actually, to be fair, the Mirror Universe logo seems to change a little bit every time we go back to the Mirror Universe. Because every time we go back to the Mirror Universe, so many years have passed. Now, in Picard's time, in this timeline, uh, we're many, many years uh, past the last time we were in the Mirror Universe. So it's very possible that the Mirror Universe Starfleet logo has changed to resemble what we kind of see behind Picard here. Picard's also wearing a sash, which also is very, very... Um, I don't want to say emblematic, but it reminds me a lot of the other characters that we've seen from the Mirror Universe, specifically Kirk. When Kirk goes back to the Mirror Universe, he's wearing a sash. Now, again, like I mentioned, we haven't been to the Mirror Universe in many, many years. So who knows? Maybe this is, in fact, the Mirror Universe. Could Picard Season 2 actually not only take place in the Mirror Universe, but could Q, in fact, be responsible for creating the Mirror Universe in the first place? Or is this trailer pure misdirection? Let me know in the comments below what you think is going on here in Season 2 of Picard. While you're down there, also make sure you ever so slightly click that like button. Like I said earlier, really helps us out here at the Geeks and Company. But with all that said, that'll be it for me today. Stay geeky, everyone, and we'll see you next time.